So I thought I'd do a quick video of uh, converting an 8.1 liter over to carburetor. Um, there's quite a bit of information um, out there on the internet if you do some research on this that uh, is wrong um, or kind of misguided a little bit. Um, so when I was trying to do some research, I um, found quite a few things in, that people said that were just not true. Um, but then also there's a lot of people that don't really think that you can even really convert these to carburetor. Um, so thought I'd just do a quick video, put it up on YouTube, just maybe try to help somebody else out that might be looking at this. So this is a 2001 uh, 8.1 liter. Um, so when it comes to carb conversions on these, there's literally one option as far as the aftermarket for an aftermarket intake. And that's this uh, intake right here, which is a DART manufacturing um, carb intake. It's a dual plane um, carb intake. It's, it's pretty nice. It is not cheap. So when you look at it and you look at the price, um, that's the cost of <laughs> trying to do a carb conversion on a motor that just isn't uh, used that often in uh, you know, hot rod applications or anything like that. But it is a very nice intake. Um, it actually has these little uh, bosses that you can drill and tap for uh, a fuel rail if you want to do that. Um, but if not, then you obviously just don't use it. Um, the other thing with converting an 8.1 uh, to carb that you can do, that there are multiple different ways you can go about this. Um, a lot of what the ways I've seen guys do this is they'll do the carb conversion with the intake a carb, but they'll keep the coil packs. Um, and they, they go and get the MSD, I believe it's the 6014 kit. It's what's used to run LSs, so like a 5.3 or 6.0. If you want to convert those to carb, but you know you still need to run the coil packs, the MSD 6014 will run you know the ignition system. Um, so that's what most of these guys do, but this um, DART manufacturing intake does have a provision for a distributor. As you can see, there is a normal HEI. And that's uh, some misconception that a lot of people have is that one, they don't think that you can put a distributor, an old, you know, regular HEI or regular distributor in an A1, but you can. Um, in fact, they have. So here's the old intake that came out of it. Um, they do have these little oil pump drives uh, down in there. So once you pull the intake off um, down in the lifter galley down there, there is this that you just unbolt and pull it out. As you can see, it runs the oil pump, just like a kind of an old, like the bottom half of an old distributor, and that's how it runs the oil pump. So you just pull this out, and then the dart intake has a, a hole, and then you can stab a distributor in there. So the other misconception or the misinformation that I read about quite a bit and it even, I think some of it comes from on Dart's website for this intake. They they specify on there that you it has a provision for a distributor and you can use, it says standard deck height distributor with a slip collar is what they say. And I think that that confuses a lot of people because it is true that the deck height of an 8.1 is a tall deck if you do the measurements. But, and so then when Dart also says that you need to have a uh, slip collar, I think everybody just assumes, well, then you gotta have a tall deck distributor to be able to run this thing. Well, that's not true. Um, as you can see, Dart uh, does like a, a pretty good recess of their distributor hole. Um, and this is a standard, you know, 454 small, you know, small block, big block distributor standard deck height distributor and it fits i even checked engagement with the um distributor gear and also engagement with the uh, oil pump and it works perfect so you don't need a tall deck height <laughs> uh you know distributor just a standard deck height works um so that's pretty cool because obviously 
tall deck are way more expensive than just regular. Um, some of the other things that, that you'll have to do, so the, the stock intake, the PVC system is built within the stock intake. In fact, I might be able to show you. This one actually has it capped off um, on the bottom. And then, as you can see, this one actually had uh, the modification done to it. Um, I'm actually, it's funny, I have an 8.1 in this truck, and I'm going to put this um, modified intake on that one with a different throttle body and stuff like that. But um, the PVC is actually capped right now on this, but normally right there, there is a, like a, you know, little valve or whatever, and so the PVC system is built within this. So if you are converting to carb, uh, you need to do an external one. So I just got a little, you know, standard big block PVC valve uh, that I just, you know, drilled a hole and put a grommet there, and then I'll hook that to vacuum off the carburetor. And then also to um, your oil fill, because um, the normal one, the normal oil fill is right here with a little cap on it uh, that goes through the intake. So there was no provision for that on this intake. So I actually had seen guys, you know, take these and actually drill a hole and mount them right here, um, which I thought was kind of cool. But I mean, either that or the valve cover doesn't really matter. Um, so you got to do those two things. So you can fill it with oil. Um, and then the big thing is a if you if you go with a you know standard HEI distributor or something of that nature, um, and you're not using that MSD 6014 uh, to run coil packs, then you need some sort of timing indicator. There's a lot of ways you can do this. Um, I actually found so there's a there's a company called Powerbond that makes a replacement crank pulley, you know harmonic balance or crank pulley for an 8.1 that actually has timing marks on it. Um, so, which is pretty cool. Um, very clean and salt. I've seen some guys just use their factory one and just with a paint pen, you know, find top dead center and start marking, um, you know, their timing indicators. You can do that too, uh, you know, whatever. Um, and then I, I just built, it's kind of hard to see a little bit, but um, I just built a little, well, first of all, that's just a timing mark for a regular big block that's adjustable. And I just built a little mount that bolts to the timing cover. And then that little marker bolts to that so that I have, you know, my top dead center mark so that I can adjust my timing like I need to. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it's... Uh, pretty easy to convert convert them to carb. I understand that this isn't a very common motor to do this on, um, but there are some guys out there that that might want to do this. Um, this dart intake is pretty nice. Some of the research I found of a couple guys using this, um, it for sure, like at least in my opinion, will flow better than a stock unmodified 8.1 intake. Um, some of these guys have used this intake on builds with aluminum heads and cams and all that type of stuff and they're producing you know over 600 horsepower so the intake itself can uh support you know over that much power which in my opinion the stock unmodified intake cannot handle that so um it it again this dart intake is like it's the only name in the game to try and convert an 8.1 to carb but pretty cool pretty different um it's a pretty wild looking intake which is awesome i think it's cool looking but hopefully this helps out some people um, that, you know, might be doing some research on this thing um, about doing a carb swap on an 8.1. Um, it's really not that bad, you know, intake, distributor, uh, timing marks, oil fill, PVC. That's kind of really all, the only things you got to worry about. But there you go.